you've been in the game a while. You, you were drafted in 1996. Uh, can you tell me how the game has changed in, in 20 years? Well, the, yeah, the game changed, you know, they changed a lot. Yeah. You know, it's way, way different than when I started playing baseball. Even the, even the home run, even the average, even the fans, everything changed right now, you know, but it's still baseball. It's still baseball, and, uh, but the rules, even, even everything changed, you know, it's like, it's amazing how baseball moving forward, you know, for some, for the all timing player, the all timing rules, now is a way different than before. What's your take on uh, the the celebrations and the the more sort of flamboyant players and the bat flips? Do you think Major League Baseball needs more of that or less of that? I think this for me, we I, I'm not a cocky guy, you know. I just, I want to go over there and have fun and play baseball, but. They try, like I'm saying, the, the fan love that, you know. Yeah. The fan come, they pay money, they, 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 they pay to come and see action in the game. And then base was fine, you know. Base was like a, it's like a, a, a party, you know, like you just go, they go over there and have fun and have a drink or scream or do whatever, you know. When the, when the fans see a hitter, hit a home a thousand feet away and then flip the bar, they, they're excited for that. It's like the, when the pitcher come and try out somebody, they do whatever they do, the, the, the fan get excited for that. I think baseball need to be more, more they need to be a little bit similar than they used to be. You know, it's not, they haven't fun, you know, they have more speed, they have more things, but like, they need all the emotion together, like for the all timing. You know, yeah. that, 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 I think that's, that I agree with that. Is there a moment from your career that you'll that you'll take away when you retire someday? Is there, is there a moment that, that will stand out above all the rest? You know, it's go. Cool. I, I had a lot of moments you know, in, in baseball. You know, like um, for me, for me as a catcher, the moment I always want is the playing the play. Yeah. I love that moment because I think that's the baseball used to be. You know, like when people see, fans see that the, the catch and the running, crash over there, and it's like a, it's like a football field. You know. And yeah. For me, they take that thing away. It's like a. It's, I think if I want to take that thing, I take that. Now, someone with uh, you know considerable major league experience uh, like you have playing here in AAA, what's your role in this clubhouse with this team? You know what? This clubhouse right here, I have so much respect for them. You know, there are a lot of young kids in here, but they 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 remember me back in the day. They had the respect, they had uh, the culture, you know, for baseball. They they know where they need to be to respect each and other. You know, and that's I think it's one of the one of my best group of guys I ever have in my, in my career. Oh yeah? I have so much fun, like, they listen when I'm talking to them, they come to me and talk to me, and then, be honest to you, and not because I'm here, but that group of guys right there, and I change it for any big league team. Sure. That's the, those guys are here, they have a lot of respect, a lot of love, you know, for each other, and that, I think, one of the, one of the best. Now, as the, as the veteran on the team, do you get the, your choice of the, the spot on the bus and the first in line for the food and all that sort of thing? You know, no, I'm not like that. I'm not no. like that. I, I just, they want me to do that, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. Like, when we go on the plane, hey, Mickey, just go first. Nah, I, I wait <laughs> for my time. Sometimes you're missing rounds. Hey, I'm going, you know, but I'm not, I'm not like that type of guy, you know, like, uh, because I have 12, 13 years in the big league. Oh, no, I'm not like that. Yeah. I want, I, for me, everything is the same. Yeah, you know, I want to treat them with respect. Sure. The way they respect me, and then, and that's where it is. You know, and no matter if you have twenty or thirty years, or you have one year in the big league, I think you need to be the same. That no matter what, you know, we are human, and then we all play, play baseball, and then we love for each other. I still learning for them too, and they're learning for me. And then, yeah. and like I say, you know, we just having fun here, and it's a nice, nice, a nice group of family right here. Cool. What advice do you, would you have for the guy who gets called up? for the first time and then he goes up there and it doesn't go too well and he comes back. When he comes walking back into the clubhouse, what advice do you have for him? Well, I just say to them, I say, you're going to need to, I say, what are you, you're not that, what are you, what are you not do over there to just keep in the big league? I say, I don't know. I say, well, you know what? Just keep working hard. Yeah. Keep working everything you need to work to put yourself back in there. Because, you know, some people go to the big league and they send it down and they just put their soft down. I think for me, the message I need to say, I said, you know, you need to work harder, double, triple the way you used to work yeah. to prove yourself to go back to the big league. Great. Well, it's been fun for me to follow your career. I certainly uh, enjoyed that, and I appreciate taking a couple of times to, to talk to us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Miguel. I really thank appreciate you. it. Right. Take care. Good thank luck.
Good. Yeah.